Hi everyone. Well, you can tell from the smile on my face and the Kentucky Derby hat, the wild hair, the costume, the full bling of jewelry, it must be time for Wine Diaries. It's Friday night. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. We are not going to be melodramatic like I was the last time. No, we are just going to do a wine tasting. I know, that's kind of classy, right? It doesn't have to be dramatic. So anyway, we are going to do my summer wines that actually one of them is from 2021 have no idea if it's still good the other ones the purple toad wines they are from last summer when i ordered them and just didn't get a chance to have that summer wine taste testing but you know what we're going to do it today so anyway i'm so glad that you guys are here because we all know it's not healthy for nancy to drink alone Hey everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diaries. So anyway, I'm trying to get rid of some of my wine and you guys, you guys are going to have to help me because I need to have room to walk around in the house, you know, and there's wine everywhere. But anyway, so today I thought we would do summer wine taste testing, which summer to me is you want something light, fruity, you don't want anything strong, you just kind of want to sit and have a sipping wine, relax. I've got the charcuterie board, a little different from last week, I, or two weeks ago I guess I had it, because I still had those cheese curds and the beef sticks, so I want to get rid of them. So I've got my charcuterie board here. So again, I've got those four brothers, the teriyaki, teriyaki beef sticks. We've got the Ellison Farms, the, the cheese curds. We've got a cheddar, and then we've got these ones that are like another cheddar, but it's got like taco seasonings in it. So good. I bought some more grapes. So I've got a mix here of some green and red grapes. It's the other teriyaki and the cheese curds and then I got a little mixed package so I've got some cantaloupe some honeydew melon that's one of my favorites and some pineapple and in the middle I still had a little bit of that four brothers that kind of kind of it's like a vanilla cream but it tastes like soft serve ice cream maybe mixed with a little yogurt and some cool whip I have no idea what's in it but it is so so good so anyway that's my little cheese char charcuterie board to have with my wine we've got two wines here from purple toad i got them uh last summer when i was going to do a taste testing of some fruit wines never quite got around to it they've been in the refrigerator i'm sure those are still going to be perfectly fine i've got a strawberry lemonade from them and another peach wine from them this one is peach berry so it's a strawberry and peach wine so i'm sure that's going to be awesome so anyway, I, I know you, you've far, if you've been with me a while, you know that I've mentioned Purple Toad Winery before. They're in Paducah, Kentucky. I actually found them in COVID times back in 2020. Back then it was um, the wines that I get were like $13 and change. And at $40, you got free shipping. Well, you know, I took advantage of that and tried some different wines. And so now with everything, the rates and stuff going up for you have to get to fifty dollars and you get free shipping they ship to a lot of states but there's still some states that don't allow liquor to be shipped to residential areas and um the wines are now the sweet wines that i get are like fourteen dollars and fifteen cents so it's still really reasonable fifty dollars doesn't take too much but it's at like five bottles or whatever and so you get free shipping i've got a coffee mug from them i've got a great big ice uh coffee glass from them I got a sweatshirt and a t-shirt as well love the purple one purple toad wines if I ever had a chance to go out there I'm going to go to Paducah Kentucky and do a taste testing right there at the place oh, that's going to be exciting but anyway so then back in October 2021 I had some wines delivered to me from Italy from Saracini wines and I think it was Labor Day weekend 2021 they were having an awesome an awesome sale I had been on this site a few times but I never bought anything but you know you get cookies or whatever that you leave behind and so they, they track you down so anyway they sent me an email letting me know that they had a Labor Day sale so it was some incredible prices it was free shipping I think at $75 you got free shipping so I ordered a package that was 
$75. It was like celebration. So it had their, what they were, I guess one of the wines that they're really known for was their blue wine. It was a peach flavored sparkling wine. Maybe I did like peach all this time and didn't know it. But anyway, it was like a peach sparkling wine. So anyway, I got that in, in there. There was a, I think a pink raspberry sparkling wine. There was uh, one that was like a pina colada wine and there was a dry wine and something else. And this one right here that I totally forgot about. So I ordered that and then I ordered an extra of the blue wine. And when that was delivered, I had it delivered to work because I was still working at the office then. And um, yeah, so we, we celebrated with the peach, with that pink peach wine. It was, it was really, really good. Nice and sparkling. So anyway, but I forgot all about this one. So this has been in my wine cooler, not the refrigerator. I forgot what the temperature I have that one sat at, set at. But anyway, I took it out this morning when I decided I was going to do this after work and I put it in the refrigerator to get it nice and cold. So this one is called Volare. And again, it shipped all the way from Italy. Packaging was so, so pretty. If I can find that video, I will post that up there. But anyway, it was really good. This one, I have no idea what it's going to taste like. It's a pink grapefruit sparkling wine. And I still have the cork in here. Um, again, 2021. I know for their wines like this, they did recommend that you drink ASAP. So I have no idea if there's going to be any effervescence left or anything like that, or if it's just maybe it's gone flat or bad. But anyway, so I'll let the cork on till we get to it so that you guys can cherish the moment with me if it's still good. Alrighty. So what do we want to do first? We might as well do the open wines first, right? So I'm going to do the lemonade one first, just in case that one's a little tart. I think if I have something sweet and then I go to something tart, it's going to really not taste right. So let's take this strawberry lemonade. And again, this is from Purple Toad. So it's strawberry lemon wine. And this one's 12% alcohol, which is probably higher than what I thought it was going to be. And on their sweetness scale, they give it a four out of six. Alrighty, ready? My hands are slippery. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. We don't need much since we're just taste testing. Gonna swish it around in here. Cheers, everyone. Happy, happy Friday. Here's to a great weekend. Um, I smell lemonade. I smell, I think it's strawberries. So anyway, strawberries, lemonade, cheers. What is that? Over the lips, through the lips and over the gum. Look out, tell me here it comes. You guys probably have already heard that. I already forgot how it goes. Cheers. It's tart. You can taste the strawberry, the sweetness of the strawberry. You can taste that lemonade on both, both sides here. But my mouth is watering. It is really good. It's just tart. You have to be ready for that tartness. I think if the tartness bothered you, maybe you could always put it, add a little bit of sugar in here, maybe to cut some of that acid. But Let's try another little sip. It's almost like strawberry jam and lemonade. It's, it's sweet, but tart. It is good. I mean, I would probably, if I was going to have my snack, maybe a meal, a sandwich or something, I might want to have maybe just a little bit more than this. And that would probably be all that I would need because I think it's it's that richness too. Sometimes when you have like a nice cheesecake or something or chocolate cake and it's so good but you can't even eat a full slice because it's so rich. You wouldn't want a full glass of this. If that is really, really rich. So let's put that over there. And we'll put my classy thing right there. So anyway, what do you guys think of lemonade and strawberry? It was tasty. And like I said, I if I go back before the end of the summer, I know I had that mango wine that was really, really good, really, really light. So I wouldn't mind getting some more of the mango wine. Um, 
I still got some sangria from them from last year, but I'm going to do some kind of sangria taste testing, a battle, a battle of the sangria wines. And uh, I might have to get that mango habanero just, just to taste it. Alrighty, so let's swirl this one around and show you the label. So again, this one was the peach berry. So peach and strawberry wine. Again, this one is 12%. Um, the Purple Toad Winery in Paducah, Kentucky. And on their sweetness scale, it is a 5 out of 6. So this one should be should be sweet, all right? All righty, so let's move that one over there. And kind of switch this around. Smell more peach. If I do smell strawberry, it's really, really light. But anyway, cheers, everyone. I'm so glad that you guys are here to share this moment with me. Cheers, everyone. This is really good. It's the peach, but there is. You know, you got that peach taste, but then you got the sweetness of the strawberries added. I don't taste anything tart or anything in this. It's just, it's a, it's a heavy wine. Um, again, I don't think I'd want to drink much more than this. Just for a little sipping here and there because it is so rich. But, oh my gosh, this is good. I would put this up against any of the peach wines. If I have another battle of the peach wines, I'm going to have to do the peach berry with the Paducah peach and see who the winner is. Yeah, it's that good. Cheers, everyone. This is good. This is a really good sweet wine. If you love sweet wines, peach berry from the Purple Toad, you are going to love it. Alrighty. I'm kind of afraid to open this one because I feel like I'm going to make a mess. I do have a towel with me. It's either going to be a mess because it's going to have some effervescence, maybe even more effervescence than when it was bottled, or it's going to be flat. We just never know. Alrighty. Oh, so anyway, you guys got any super fun plans this weekend? You know, one thing we used to love to do in the summer is we would go, when we lived uh, back home in Massachusetts, we would go to Sandy Neck Beach and go camping every weekend. Rick at the time was a salesman. No, he wasn't. He was working at Northrop Grumman. He was one of the engineers there. And so on Fridays, he would take the tent. That we had a slide-in truck camper that went in in the back. And of course, they had slide-outs and things like that. And air conditioning, all those lovely things. And he would take Stetson and Sir Stetson and Lady Penelope, the two Britneys that we had. And he would take them with him to work, put them in the uh, back of the camper with the generator on, keep them nice and comfortable with the air conditioning. He would go in to work and he would get everybody mad at him. He was good at that even without trying sometimes, but he would get everybody mad at him. He could do that within the hour, and by 9 o'clock, he was on the road headed to the beach. Yeah, they never came looking for him. It was an awesome, awesome plan, but I still had to work till 6 o'clock. So, yeah, that part of it wasn't fair, but at least he had a spot all picked out. The camper was nice and level on the beach. I didn't have to sit there in the heat while we took the air out of the tires and the boat tires. I know, so fun. Okay, stop talking, and... Try to open this. Okay, it's starting to come. It's coming. It's going to pop and make a noise, and then I'm going to blink. All right, a little bit of a pop, not much. So, anyway, what do you guys think? Think this uh, pink grapefruit sparkling wine is going to have any effervescence left? From October 2021? Well, it does have a little. What do you think? We've got some nice bubbles in here. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. I don't even know if I like pink grapefruit, but it was part of the celebration package. So, anyway. I don't smell too much. I just like a light, light white wine. Alrighty. Oh, it's it's bubbling still. You can see the bubbles still coming up, so that's a good sign, right? 
anyway cheers everyone happy weekend i hope you don't have to go out and get everybody now at you at work so that you can kind of take off early yeah that's that was amazing how we did that how do people have a gift like that cheers this is good it's still sparkling it's still good i don't know if i kept it at room temperature how it would be if i had it in the refrigerator too cold but still has that effervescence it's like a light white wine with just a very very hint of pink grapefruit so it just gives it just a little bit of extra flavor not bad at all i have no idea what i'm going to do with these wines this weekend i'm going to be drinking wine all weekend long to get rid of these three bottles i hope next doors i hope they're home oh my god this is good just um slight grapefruit taste i mean it's definitely grapefruit definitely definitely good yeah i would if i do another order which and of course i've been getting emails ever since i got that so like every week or so i get some more and i keep saying you know should maybe i should just unsubscribe but then i says they might send me something that's a really heavy heavy duty big sale that i should get anyway which one do i like the best Alrighty. so this one was the peach berry This is really, really good. Let's see if I can do the lemonade without making a sour puts face because I've known that I've had these sweet wines. Cheers. It is tart. I think I have to be in the mood for that. Kind of like lemonade, you're not always in the mood for it, but some days it just hits the spot. Oh, no. The Saracini why volare whoa whoa i forgot how exactly how that song went sometimes that's all i remember is the title song cheers this is a tough one definitely in last place is going to be the lemonade because it's just a little too tart i cannot tell which one i like better they're both really equally good I think at 12%, if I wanted to just kind of sit outside in the heat, I probably wouldn't want this one because it's 12%. This one just seems like it's lighter. Let me see if it says it anywhere. It probably says it on the back. But it feels like it should be lighter. it's probably saying it but i can't focus on it seven so this one's seven percent so definitely if you wanted just to have a nice sipping wine and you're sitting outside in the sun and it's hot yeah definitely this would be the one because it's only seven percent it's really really light it's got a nice little flavor to it but maybe if you're in the house maybe having something to eat or even if you're outside eating then maybe a little bit of this would be good too this is a tough one it's a tie it's a tie between these ones it, well you know it wasn't even a battle it wasn't even going to be a battle so i don't have to worry about a clear winner or loser yeah they're all good so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending part of your friday night with me i hope you guys go out have a great night have a super super weekend no matter what you do and just thank you guys so much for supporting me i hope uh, to read your comments i hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and i hope you guys just uh, had some fun tasting some wines with me if you have any more suggestions for me like i said i, I know i want to do a battle of the sangria wines maybe i'll try to get some more summer wines in i have got seven seven do i have seven bottles of wink wine that i haven't opened yet or do i have eight i might have eight bottles seven bottles i think i got seven so yeah i'm falling behind but you know it's okay you don't have to have wine every weekend because i think i put some margaritas somewhere in there and sangria yeah so i'm starting to ramble i'm getting hungry thinking of you know i think i need a meal i want to have all this wine i need a meal okay so anyway back to saying goodbye i know saying goodbye is hard you know one thing i learned when he came to minnesota 
and I think we saw this in that play, How to Speak Minnesotan, is that people never say goodbye once in Minnesota. You know, they get ready to go, they're getting their coat on, oh, you need a hot dish, you need to take something with you, blah, blah, blah. And then a few more things, when they get the hot dish ready to go and package it, and they're at the door, and they say goodbye again, but then they go out to the car with you, and then they're looking up at the sky, and oh yeah, that makes me look a little uneasy, yeah, for sure, yeah, it looks like snow. And then the next thing you know, you've said goodbye for like 20 minutes and they're still there and you have to go in the house, but you don't want to just walk away. How, how do you say goodbye, right? Yeah, it's hard to say goodbye. But anyway, I'm going to try it again. So anyway, thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun enjoy the wine if you can. I love you guys so much and we will see you on our next video.